dear Norwegian flute friends, I do hope this finds you well despite these very difficult times. I'm so disappointed that I won't be able to join you in January for the Flute Fest 2021, but I'm already looking forward to the postponed version of the Flute Fest in January 2022. I can't wait to meet you all, to work with you and play for you, and of course, even better, to play with you. And in the meantime, maybe you'd like to watch some of my YouTube videos, which I've been making this year since the start of the lockdown in March. Now, at that point, I'd never ever filmed anything, let alone edited a video. So on that side of things, please don't expect too much. But on the flute teaching side of things, my biggest challenge was trying to condense my thoughts on each of the various orchestral solos and technical topics into each of the videos lasting about 12 minutes. If you go to YouTube, you should be able to find my channel quite easily. Just type in Emily Bynan Flute. Then once you're there, you'll see that there are various playlists orchestral excerpts, technical tutorials, a couple of Q&As and interviews, and various live concerts, recitals, chamber music and orchestral. Now, as an extra incentive to watch these videos, I've devised a little quiz especially for you. The winner will get three of my CDs. The second prize winner gets two and the third prize winner will get one. So send your answers to me through my website emilybynan.com. The deadline is Epiphany, or the Three Kings Day, 6th of January 2021. Now, if there are several right answers, I'll select the winner live on YouTube on the day that I should have been with you in Norway, the 9th of January 2021. So get ready to press your pause button and write down these questions. Question one. This wallpaper behind me was chosen as a daily reminder of which musical philosophy? Question two. As flute players, we often represent birds. Which animal do I consider it to be a worse fate to constantly have to represent musically? Question three. I love coffee, but what am I referring to when I say that we're not practicing our barista skills? Question four. I played in a youth orchestra with two other famous British flute players. One is also a composer and the other a solo flute player of a major orchestra. Who are they? And the fifth and final question, why do I keep dice on my music stand? So send your answers to me through my website, emilybynan.com. And the deadline, don't forget, is the 6th of January, 2021. I'll announce the result, if necessary, with a live drawing of lots on the 9th of January. And I'll see you at Flutefest 2022. Stay safe and happy fluting. <laughs>